Hello and welcome to a new video where we will look at the new sound library piano colors by Native Instruments and Galaxy Instruments. But before we dive deep in, let's have a look to a short track I've written just using this library. So let's look what we've got. Here is just one patch and that's what I like that you don't have to use so many patches. And as you heard, this is not just another piano library. Yes, all the piano libraries sound different as all the pianos sound different, but this is much more. And we'll dive deep in it now. So here is just one patch and this is the first patch you see. This is the patch uh, that I used in this track here. And there are not a lot of presets. Yes, there are, but not on the patches. Here are the presets at the snapshots. When you don't see them, you see all the information here, you can see the channel and then go to here to the snapshots and you got access to all the different presets. So what's going on here? The interface seems to be very clear, but there is so much going on. Okay, so first of all, we just choose one normal piano sound. I choose Bright Hub and then First of all, we see that we got three layers here. One, two, three, four. Okay, they named them different. So they are named noises, layer one, layer two, and particles. And you can see when you activate or deactivate the layers, we've got more light here. And the volume has been shown by the brightness or how bright these uh, colored bars are. So let's have a look at noises and I use it by the solo button. Great to have a solo button in here. So these are the noises. I play something and you can't hear anything because we've got five different noises. The first one is the pedal. And here we've got four different categories, the damper, pedal, rumble, and string. Great for some horror movies. Next are the mechanical noises. And here you got some noise for pressing the key and release. We got a crossfade, low cut, and here are five different samples. Grand piano, keyboard mono, keyboard stereo, electric piano mono, electric piano stereo. Next is the attack. And this is great to give a new character or add a new character to the piano. So here's the piano. Without the tech. And now let's choose cotton. 
Silk. Curtain. Felt. Leather. Breather. And next we've got Mallet Rub. Without. Stick. Root it. And root shake. Next is the pianist. Fifth noise is noise. Here we've got uh, different rooms, tape, radio tuning, and so on. I like this very much because it's not very good where you've got the noise inside the samples. When you press just one key, it's okay, but when you press more keys, you get more noise and it's getting louder and louder. And here, you just have one noise in the background. Very nice. So that's the noise. But now we get to uh, the layer. And when I place the player here, you see, oh, there is a lot going on and there is more going on. So here we see layer one and layer two. Now we just hear the layer one. And I can choose another sound. Here are the resources, uh, sources, and we've got 86, 86 sources. So let's see what we've got here. And you've got a lot of filter options. That's great. So you can find very fast uh, the perfect sound for you. Let's choose Ebo Octaves. And you always got to remember, all the sounds are created by using pianos and they are treated in different ways with different materials. Sometimes it sounds like organ or like a synth. These sounds are all created with using brand pianos. So we've got here the e piano, uh, the, the Ibo. Let's choose a flageolet. That's very beautiful. And now let's check the other parameters. So first, the color. It, it sounds like a filter, but it's, it's not a filter. It's just changing the dynamics. But now I'm playing the lower keys at uh, uh, the keys at lower volume, and now the volume has been changed. And here I play the the same. But it's not very loud. More changes are created by tonal shift. totally different character. So what's going on here? I use a trick very often. I choose the MIDI transpose for, let's say, four semitones up, and then I tune four semitones down in here, or the opposite. And so you change the samples and do a little bit of time shift, uh, pitch shifting. And here, this is the same, but more comfortable. And as most of the time at contact, just do this, right click, learn MIDI CC automation, use a controller, and now I can change it. Mm -hmm. 
and you can do much more to this later. Yes, we got the dynamics and now one of my favorites, the resonance. So what's going on here? I press the pedal and use the fader. Without and with. So now you can hear the resonances by the strings. I I really love this. And you don't need more reverb. And when you don't want to use the pedal, just click death. So you got to believe me, I don't use my feet. And now you get this effect every time. Here are the overtones. And when I press C4, very low. And now I press C3, very hard. We can hear uh, here C4, so this is a more natural feeling and it's very good when you press the pedal and play with a lot of keys. And the next one are two fader for the low key. So the lower keys seem to be a little bit more quieter and have uh, less attack. But another great feature is sub and perhaps you know it from Noir. So they recorded an additional signal and you can edit this Add a split point, very great. And it's awesome to use it to create very warm bases. Yeah, I, I love it. So this is the, the first layer, the second layer here. We've got a tech decay system release. We can use this for creating some pads. Okay, but that's not all. Here we got the tone and uh, we've got mod effects, channel, space and motion. Let's check mod effects. Every layer has got four different slots and we can choose from a lot of different effects. Filter, equalizer, drive, dynamic, modulation, chamber, spherical, piano effects and utilities. So let's try the spherical and choose crown crabs. First of all, let's go back and do uh, this. Let's turn it down. And here we got uh, the piano effects. Let's try them. Let's try uh, Baby Grand. Mm -hmm. 
And now we can change the uh, effect. So just drag and drop. And I can use the sound and copy it to the second layer. That's really great. And you've got a lot of possibilities in here. So next are the channel effects. You can see we've got an equalizer. We've got the dynamics. We can compress it. Here we've got three different uh, options. Gentle punch and slam saturation. Mild, moderate, hot. Very great that we got a mix knob and that we got a volume knob. That's awesome because sometimes when you do uh, a lot of compress and saturation and do this, the signal can be very loud. Or you want to gain up or rise up the, the signal. Uh, this is independently to this fader here. So channel settings. Yes. Now we go to the space. Let's take away the mod effects. Here we got the convolution, algorithmic reverbs, plate, and replica. So here is the tape. Let's choose modern. Ping pong. Here we can sync it. Um, I don't want any modulation. And let's have a look at the convolutions. We've got vintage. Here are some plates. And uh, we've got the room. Piano. I know I missed something. Reverse and very great is shimmery sweep or the or the mystics okay now here is motion so we've got two lfos let's first of all activate this one And we can sync it or not sync. Every LFO can have two targets. And you see the targets are here, volume, pan, color, tonal shift, vibrato. And here we've got all the parameters from uh, the mod effects. So you see at piano effects, we've got the baby grand. And now let's go to motion. So here we've got baby grand and we can change the tonal shift and now it's just working when i press a new key yeah here we got the motion and okay we can see we've got a few options soft parts square and so on but when i click to here gets deeper. Here's the LFO, a lot of different preset options, and we can choose steps. So let's go to here. We've got from one to, no, from two till 32 steps. This is really awesome. And a lot of presets here too.
So this is the layer, just the layer, first layer and, and second layer. You can turn them on and off. Now the next part are the particles. And this is really a powerful engine. So let's start. Here are some presets, but let's have a look what's going on here. First of all, yeah, this is done by 0%, again, 0%, yeah. But now we can use tonal shift. So now the character is changing. And now we can change the octaves. Let's go back. You see, there are a lot of buttons uh, you can press and explore a new world. What I really like is the quantize function. When you play free, let's say we've chosen this layer two and deactivate the noises. This one. Okay. And now I don't play in time, I play very free. And when I don't quantize, let's listen what happens. Sounds very chaotic, right? So now I choose quantize. Click. And without. So you get a lot of chaos. It's always good to use it. Yeah, you can choose the density, variation, um, a lot of things that are very great. Here we've got the sources and the effects. Let's have a look at the sources. You've got two sources and much more as um, in the particles engine in Noir. So here are the Melod Failed Soft and here is a crossfader. So here you can hear Melod felt soft and hear Melod felt hard. And let's choose something else in here. Let's choose uh, Pampa. Yeah, and perhaps something else. The rubber. Yeah, and you can change the timber dynamics and very great. You can change attack and release. This is very great when you 
want to create soft particles that are flowing or you want to create crazy rhythms. So next is global. No surprises here. We got the equalizer, dynamics, we've got saturation, compressor, character, attack release and mix. What's great that we have the settings for the pitch bending here from one seven tones to 12. And here we've got a tuning from 136 to 144. You can change the tuning from stretch to equal. And I forget something, oh, not really. So let's activate the whole setting. Let's go to the original. Let's go uh, to felt mallets. And let's listen how it sounds. Yeah, now we've got the arpeggiator. And you can choose what is affected by the arpeggiator, just the noises. Or just layer one. Or layer two. Yeah. Or all of them. And here we've got a lot of things that, that can go on. So you see, we've got till uh, 32 steps. And just let's create a very simple thing. We can do uh, this. But in here are another possibilities. You can see per step. You can do a lot of things. So let's just do this as played. And you can see here are a lot of presets too. Let's choose this one. And here are a lot of things going on. We stay the eight and so the highest range is too high for me. So let's just do this. Or this. Oh, this. Now I can change the length. So here are a lot of options you can use. And first, let's choose this one. So we can use plus one octave, normal, minus one octave, minus and plus yeah here you can use the high keys just the low keys and now let's have a look at the repetitions and reduce the length it's something like the ratchet option that you have at a lot of um, uh, analog sequencers or modular systems so let's go to here and here. So let's change the time so we can hear better. And 
we've got many repetitions. Next are the chords. So now I press the chord. And let's go to here. Yes, we've got the loop as played. Yes, and let's deactivate this one. Oops. We just want to have a normal one. So. And now we can use the inversions. Up and down and the second one yeah, you can do a lot of things here and what i really like is the render uh render by <laughs> random button And you can choose at here the loop, loop, one shot, ping pong, or random. Let's choose ping pong. And I love random. And here you've got a lot of possibilities you can not you can choose a random all and there is a little smart tool we didn't have a look at this one this is the expression knob can you hear a difference yeah it's not very big so i can demonstrate it here here is my layer one now I want to change the velocity here, uh, the volume. And here I'm doing the opposite. So this is the second layer. And now I can do a crossfade between the first and the second. Then I press here, and now I can change the settings via velocity. And you can see a smooth thing is the attack, pullback, release. Let's do more. It's always great because you can see it here at the interface. Yes, and now we can change a lot of other things. Let's go to the data and say we want to change the length. So, at the end, I play you some presets so you can hear on the, this great library on its own.
So this is Piano Colors by Native Instruments in Galaxy Instruments. I really, really love it. I love how you can treat the sounds, how you can change them. You can create your own sounds, your own rhythms. Sometimes you can create a track just by using one incense or you use all these baking elements and particles or arpeggiators for using your own arpeggiators in the background that just feel organic and not synthetic. So did you buy it? Did you download it? Or perhaps you created some tracks? How much do you like it? How much do you like the examples? Just leave a comment. I would like to see what's your opinion. See you in the next time. Bye.